7 a.m. Day 3. Don't feel that great. Back kind of hurts. Feet are about to hurt. Supposed to do 20 miles today. It's always been a dream of mine to watch a helicopter stock an alpine lake of fish. And I don't know what that helicopter was just doing, but it just dropped a bunch of stuff in that lake. And that was pretty sweet. All right, Raid Peak Pass. One of three passes today. That went pretty good. About an hour from camp. All right, pass number two, Century Peak Pass. Going pretty good. I think you can see Photo Pass across the way. Just had a pretty epic boot ski. And then that's how I got off the snow. I fell and broke my pole. That's dope. Photo pass. Let's just walk through that. That was pretty nice. Pretty neat. This marks many things. One, entering the Wind River Indian Reservation. It marks halfway of this route and halfway of my day. Keep ripping. Now we're getting some rain and some hail, which I'm actually not that bummed about because I'm kind of hoping it'll clear before I gotta go over Europe Peak. So we'll see how that works. Coming up on the fun part of Europe Peak. The weather is being very nice to me, even though I'm kind of pushing it. So thank you, weather. Also, this is kind of my last opportunity to reasonably bail. So, and we're not, so. Here's the crux, third class corner knife ridge Descending down familiar type of terrain. Tundra plateau business. Feeling good, feeling good to get over Europe Peak. And I'm assuming I'll make it the last couple miles to Golden Lakes. I'm finally, finally on track. I've been a little bit behind every day. And if I didn't make it over that, I'd be pretty far behind and just every step down is a little bit safer from the weather so first real stoke all right made it to camp on the way down it started pouring rain again got totally soaked super wet it was kind of cold so I put on dry clothes and made some soup. Now I feel a little better. 
But uh, today was good. I am really happy we're here. Now, that means we got a, maybe a chill day tomorrow. I kind of hesitate to say that. The chillest day. And then one more super long day. All right, day three, or four. I'm trying to get to Dinwoody Creek, which I think is where the high camp of, one of the high camps at Gannett Peak are. Um, my feet officially feel like hamburger meat. They are kind of bleeding. Um, so I just hope today goes okay so tomorrow doesn't like totally suck. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, Douglas Peak Pass. That's the next one, Alpine Lakes Pass. Looks treacherous to get there. Weather looks terrible. I feel like total shit. That was hard to come up. I keep walking. Uh, working up to Alpine Lakes Pass. The last four miles have been absolutely heinous. Zero fun. Suck. But the next six miles are supposedly some of the best and most remote in the range. So hopefully that means easy walking, but I kind of doubt it. Hopefully we don't get rained on too hard. We're struck by lightning. That right there is a real life glacier right at the end of its life. Thank you, Mr. Bull Lake for regulating our climate, planet's climate for the last 100,000 years. Sorry we melted ya. beautiful back here but hell are these mountains intimidating I haven't seen a single person in the entire day which is the first out of all four days there's just big seems like up north here they're a little colder and the clouds like just cleared but I'm not buying it Surprised me too many times already. Last goal for the day, Blau Rock Pass. Just gotta get up and over that. Hopefully we'll be camping right at the bottom. More rain. Got over the pass just in time. All right, dropping down still to Dinwoody Creek. I'm already kind of having thoughts of taking the easy way out tomorrow. My two options are either another, I could do 25 miles. It's probably seven grand and want to die and maybe get struck by lightning. Or I can take 22 and a half mile trail all the way to my car. So I, what I'm thinking right now is if the weather is perfect when I wake up in the morning, where do I go? Then I'll give it a go. But if it's not, I don't think I have the strength to keep sprinting out of storms like I've been doing. But this is, uh, I think there'll be people trying to climb Gannett Peak here, so maybe 
they have a more updated weather forecast for me, which will help me sleep. And the comforting sight of a bunch of Knowles tents. You know you'll be safe when they're around. There it is, the crib. And here we got the kitchen. Stuff everywhere. Oh yeah. And for the best part, <clears throat> real glaciers. Stare at those all day. All right, well that's it. We're walking down the glacier trail. Not going to be fast enough to dodge the storms today. Today the weather looks worse than all the other days, so I feel good in the decision. Not good and missing that section of the route. I was getting excited about the glaciers, but I still got to do 25 miles of walking. I was able to complete the first three sections of the Skirka Guide perfectly. Took the harder option when possible. No low routes. So I'm stoked on that. I'll have to come back and do the fourth section. He nailed it. Did a great job writing that. Since he wrote it, there's a couple more signs, a couple more trails, a little less snow. But take that into account. It's a fantastic route. I'm glad I'm not up there with that bag of lightning. All right, 15 miles down, seven or eight to go. Well, now that I'm nearing the end of this hike, it's obviously time to evaluate such an expedition. First, I think I'm bummed that I couldn't finish the high route, but I'd rather be alive. And it makes for another backpacking trip later. Maybe combine with Gannett. Who knows? Jesus. Um, my gear worked pretty good except for a trekking pole and all my socks, which have been obliterated. But everything else worked good. I brought back the right amount of food. The question is, is it worth it for five, four or five days of total suffering and pain? I'd say yes, for the most part. I learned a lot, a lot of crazy things happened. The whole moose incident, met a bunch of crazy people, cool people, that was fun. Escaped some thunderstorms. Got it! Lightning coming! and went super fast. Didn't know how fast I could go through that kind of terrain. So that was sweet. I would say, in my mind, it was a success. In Skirka's mind, it's a failure. But I'm pretty stoked. Yeah!